We just wanted to say a few thank yous and welcome you all officially to Sebasco. We've been asked a lot over the past few months kind of what we were most looking forward to besides seeing each other tomorrow. And we both always said just having all of our family and all of our friends in one place for an entire weekend. First time I met Bob and Ann, it was Mr. and Mrs. Patey at the time. But we were driving from Portland up to Camp Sinclair. We were in the car for not more than five minutes and I looked up front and Bob was squeezing one of those forearm wrist strengthener things. Just squeezing it away, veins popping out of his forearm. Kind of looked over at Nat and I was like, did I already do something wrong? Is he already upset with me? Thank you so much. I mean, this would not have been possible without you guys. Yes. <laughs> to my mom. I'll keep this one short. Um, you're absolutely the strongest person I know. I mean, someone's decided to really test us the past few years. And I just hope you know that we're always here for you. I mean, you're more than a mother to me. You're my absolute best friend. And we Tonight, everything would not have been possible without you. So we appreciate it more than you know. Lastly, to my beautiful bride-to-be, um, I think sometimes it's easy to forget that we only get one life to live. And I hope you know that I will never take for granted, and I'm so honored to spend every day of mine with you. So, cheers, thank you, welcome. speeches I've heard in my life center around the idea that you should be married to your best friend. Well, no offense, honey, but I met my best friend when I was 21 months old. I literally don't remember what life was like without Natalie, and I'm glad that I don't have to. She is the most loving, supportive, and generous sister imaginable. When Ryan showed up at my house, I knew he was a keeper. He immediately became Uncle Rye, and I know I speak for everyone here when I say, my life is better because Ryan oh Marsh is part of it. So pretty. like Sarah and, and Natalie, Ryan, Ryan is my best friend. Truth is, Ryan is the best friend of most people in this room. He's the best brother-in-law, uncle, cousin, son, and now add to that how I know he will be the best husband to Natalie. Natalie, what's clear to us is that you bring out the best in Ryan. 
as we see so many of your best qualities in him. And we're so happy for Ryan that he's finally found his best, best friend. Good afternoon and welcome to the most beautiful day I have seen in a long time at the Sabasco Harbor Resort. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate an act of deep love. Natalie and Ryan in their devotion and their respect and their love for one another wish to unite in the holy bond of marriage and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as life mates and partners. Although this is their day, it is also a tribute to all of you who have joined them today. For knowing you and interacting with you has helped to make Natalie and Ryan who they needed to become to find one another. You never thought you'd be standing here Never in a million years old Well, is it comfort, is it fear? Draw a line and watch it disappear Would everyone please stand for our beautiful bride? Try to remember before it goes Soak in the heart and feel the love No other human ties are as tender, and no other vows are more sacred than those you now assume. Ryan, would you please repeat after me? I, Ryan, take you, Natalie. I, Ryan, take you, Natalie. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Natalie, take you, Ryan. I, Natalie, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours, as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. And lastly, these are the hands 
that even when wrinkled and aged, we'll still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. For as much as Ryan and Natalie have consented together in holy matrimony, and they have promised the same before God and their friends and family gathered with them today, and they have pledged their faith in each other by the giving and receiving of rings. With the authority vested in me by the state of Maine, it is my honor, it is my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, guess what? <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> It is my pleasure to now introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Marsh. Congratulations. Woo! Woo!